As those cases climb, healthcare workers need more than just masks and gloves. KPI X5's Andrea Borba on the governor's plan now to help them get some much needed rest. Andrea? Well, Ken, many of these workers are worried about bringing the virus home to their families. Tonight, the governor has a plan to make sure that they can get some rest in peace without worrying about their families as well. With conferences and tourism at a standstill and thousands of hotel rooms around the city of San Francisco and state empty, Governor Gavin Newsom wants to give frontline health care workers a quiet spot to sleep. Those health care workers, those frontline heroes, by providing them vouchers and stipends, and in many cases for low wage workers, 100% reimbursable costs at hotels all up and down the state of California. So far, 150 hotels have contracted through CalTravelStore.com, which will officially launch for health care workers tomorrow. Dr. John Schwartzberg, an infectious disease specialist at UCSF, says this is the the right call. They are getting exposed to the virus. They come home and they've got a family. They're worried about that family. And often it's very difficult for them to self isolate in the house. There may not be enough room. Uh, it may just not be possible. So that creates tremendous anxiety for the healthcare workers. In summer. Setter nurse Jonathan Judy Del Rosario says the fear is real. But there's been the ad addition of a lot of anxiety um, that comes with this and a lot of uncertainty. Um, and it really uh, heightens the amount of stress that, you know, we feel and that we see here at work e each and every day. In San Francisco, Marriott hotels are already housing some medical workers from UCSF and SF General. In addition, major airlines, including United, Delta, Southwest, and Alaska, have offered free flights to California for any of the 80,000 plus people who have signed up for the Health Corps to serve on the front line of an anticipated surge in cases. Is something that's appropriate for the government to do because these health care workers are putting their lives on the line and they're indirectly putting their families' lives on the line. So yes, society needs to say thanks and we can help you with this. Now, Ken, that website will launch officially for those healthcare workers tomorrow. They're little, literally risking their lives every day. I, I mean, to take care of, of sick people and uh, you know, we need to think about that as well. Andrea, thank you for that.